will go a long way toward defining this era at Superfly. And Andre Ward, as the fight begins, I come back to that three of his only losses. Estrada's been waiting to prove that he's not just among the best, but the two of those losses came in his first two professional fights. We talk about being filled. Hard left hand by Sora Misa. A win against Chalk Latito. There was a feeling heading into the fight that Chalk Latito may have been a shot fighter. Or may have been dominant at 108 and 112. Good straight right from Estrada. That Chalk Latito made a statement. It was a, he's a scary kind of fight anyway. Good, quick, left hand. He's uh, no nonsense, like you said, and he's going to make you a... Estrada's a veteran. He knows. I have to acknowledge what Solon Visai does well so I can prepare physically, but also so Solon Visai is a more powerful guy. He knows about the big left hand. Take a few rounds to start really cooking. And Solon Visai is between rounds one and two. Estrada said to the people in his corner, this guy actually really feels. And when a fight... Juan Francisco Estrada and the black with gold. So far, Estrada, who came in body destroyer. It really is. The, uh, there are some interesting copy box statistics regarding Sora and Visa. In terms of numbers, doing, he's not over committing, leaving himself open for the big shots of Sora and Visa, even though he got hit with a few punching in range. He'll turn a left hook over. It's at this moment in this round, I'm not certain that by the end of the round, going to want to be his drop. I agree. I think so. And, and Sora Rumpusai didn't get him as often. But Sora Rumpusai had a good round in the first. Estrada's up 2-1. to one. Hey, this is the same as in the last fight. We've got a very close fight. Intelligent judges with great backgrounds, as he has in previous fights. And it's working. He's landing three and a half body last seven fights coming in. So that's a big change to which Sora Rumpusai is going to have to adjust. Sora Rumpusai is fighting like he knows he has the power now that he wants to take as the fight progresses and he's been doing that all fight i think but soren visai no doubt and seconds to go in round number four big right hand visai comes on lands a hard left hand lands another hard left hand and takes one shot slowly but surely and rules it not a knockdown crowd doesn't like it he would love for Estrada to get a knockdown point at some point. Soren Visai, home run hitter facing a fastball pitcher. The harder it comes in, the faster it goes out. Opportunities. And you can tell that that's Estrada's game plan. Like he wants. But yeah, I'd pay big money to have those guys. <laughs> Good straight left hand to. Hard right left hand shot upstairs. Wow. Even if you're taking a puncher's punch as well. That they're gonna fill 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 them in the latter part of the fight. Good Hard right, right hands by both fighters. Absolutely. Boy, there've been some real good shots upstairs exchanged for the schedule 12. The power puncher. Your song. Good right hand body shots by Sora Visa. That good little and disrupts the strata without looking for the knockout on that shot. Even though. If Estrada wants to have success against a puncher like this, get mid-range and in close. Estrada has a great super flop. They weighed in under 115 pounds. But tonight, Enria is a skilled boxing featherweight. She said he just outboxed Estrada for about a 30-second stretch in the middle of the ring. He did. In fact, we're about to go. Sir, a little something different. Estrada into leading at times and actually being the counter puncher. One, two. Soren Visai took the half step back. Estrada led to a quick one two. With Marco Antonio Barrera. And Soren Visai is showing a. How, when you refine the technique of a guy with this much power, it becomes a very difficult proposition. Andre, he hasn't committed any great sins that I can see, and yet he seems to be losing. He hasn't been knocked down. I'm sure he's been buzzed several times. People would have paid attention when he had 
three losses and a draw in his first five fight. A uh, controversial decision over Chocolatito. Oh. And Andre, to your point, seems to be getting a little closer with the range. And beating Sore on the B side of the punch. From the trainer between rounds, Estrada has paid attention. It's the difference, and it's coming just in time. Still it's is. getting closer. Yes. Still is. First round, he's won in a while. And he's going to try to win the fight. Oh. Big shot from Sorin B side. Taking well from a. Puncher also has the advantage in terms of scoring. Because when judges don't give him the same kind of credit as when the puncher is back one or once or twice, even if he's been out punched. And then what happens? That's what Estrada is finding out this round. Short body shot from Estrada right there. Counter right and left hook. Real good round from Estrada. Compared to want a guy like Estrada. Dangerous. There's no doubt that Estrada has to be alert for this whole fight. Estrada has to keep closing the distance. Baron Morales fights. One guy landed, the other guy was desperate. Island agreements that you have to make with yourself from round to round that nobody else isn't worth it. What if he lands and I get knocked out cold? You got to find and summon the strength and the wherewithal to get your... Just that, because th just then over the last 30 seconds... Okay. I like that kind of stuff. He was the harder hitter, and, and Juan Francisco Estrada wanted to trade with him in the middle of the round. So, anyway, it's getting a little bit close. Rounds to three. Swiss gets so run beside him. And I guess, Max, what you would say is that you go on B side for a couple of to straight left hands, hands to the body. Now it goes back upstairs of the fight. They're back into the situation where Estrada is in that middle range distance. His eyes are puffy. When he gets hit, his head is rattling a little bit more. Oh, big right hand. Huge right hand, hand by Sore on B-side. In the 10th round, giving him the round. Probably. Could have easily, I mean, I thought Sore on B-side probably won that round anyway. Yeah, it was a big shot, too. Whether he had or not, and he's been able to exploit this throughout the fight. Tonight, good shot from Sore on B-side. Down the middle. The highest level of toughness in boxing, because it requires not only playing to the crowd, and that's really the toughest kind of fighter, Andre. You were example for a while in the sport. Well, those are the guys that you see last a long time in the sport. Hard left hand by Sorung Bisai. <laughs> Another combination from Sorung Bisai. Strata, I think, is going to have to come up with something dramatic here. Rounds one. And Harold has him with seven. Good right hand. But that was set up from two good shots to the body. Both, uh, at both your scorecard, Max, good and your scorecard are unofficial. And Soren Bisai goes back in. Seeking to get 115 pounds. If either fighter has the edge, it would probably be the more powerful Soren Bisai, who has been firing sledgehammers to come down the stretch. Sorung Visai as the guy in the lead because of his big power. If you just look at the more effective punches. It's a close fight. Hard right hand by Estrada. Sorung Visai feels the need to answer. Sorung Visai landing there. Estrada firing again with the right hand. Looking for one more big shot. Crowd both fighters selling out in the center of the ring. Tremendous action. He's hanging right there with him. He, well, he's hanging there and he's landing big bombs, but he's the worst for the wear this round. I agree with that. And neither fighter does a lot of talking in the beginning, you know, before the fight. But when they get in the ring, they look. 20 more seconds. Next round 12, Bipsico Estrada give everything they've got in the closing three minutes of this round. Unbelievable. Estrada did a lot in that 20. And still, WBC Super Flyweight Champion of the World, Sri Sake. So